Yeah, well, let's get a look at our second half highlights from this one. They are brought to you by Avera Orthopedics. And SDSU came out from the jump. Big third down conversion on a beautiful ball from Kronowski to Jackson Yonke. Yeah, and they didn't have to throw much, but when they did, especially second half, Kronowski was just right on cue. And it led to a Hunter Dustman field goal, 20 to three, South Dakota State. And USD just could never really get any sort of offense going. Kronowski continuing to fire Yonke again. It would lead to another field goal, but again, multiple weapons at SDSU's disposal, whether it's the receivers or the backs, there's always someone that can make a play. Uh, and he knew exactly where he was going with the ball. It'd be one check downfield, right to his safety valve, positive yards. And the rushing game, the running game, all day long for SDSU. And you gave credit to the big boys up front, but whether it was Grunowski in the backfield, Amar Johnson, Angel Johnson, Isaiah Davis, uh, those veterans on the O-line won the trench game. Yeah, and I, I think it was a complete offensive showing. Every position, they all played well. So in their meetings, they, you know, the only thing they're gonna be pointing out is some false starts. And those came very early in the ball game when it was three to nothing. Angel Johnson with the icing on the cake. 37 to three is your final score. And keep this in mind, USD had the ball for nearly 10 minutes in the first quarter, nine minutes and 47 seconds. You look at the total time possession, they had the ball in the last three quarters for only 14 minutes. Yeah, and, and when you see the rushing yards or lack of for USD, it explains the turnovers. Um, I, I think if they're gonna match up against, and they have a very good chance to get in the playoffs against some of these more physical teams in the trenches like a Montana State, they're, they're gonna have to go a little more up-tempo to try to change the pace of the game.